Okay, so let us start with the introduction. Uh, drying is one of the oldest techniques used to preserve food discovered by mankind. I believe we are not so, uh, I believe we are quite familiar with drying because we do this uh, every day, even at home. Okay, after we wash our, our laundry, we need to dry outside or sometimes we even dry uh, food product outside the house under the sun. Okay, so what is the purpose of drying? Of course, we want to get rid uh, of the moisture. Okay, we want to get rid of the moisture so that we get the dry product. But why in the first stage, uh, why in the first place uh, we want to get the dry food product? Okay, because we want to keep it longer. Okay, originally, uh, why human dry uh, food product? Because they want to keep it longer so that they can use it some other time. Okay, they, uh, uh, when there is uh, insufficient food, uh, fresh food, uh, they still can get food from the dry food product. Okay, but uh, nowadays, uh, modern consumer uh, uh, are very demanding. Okay, they don't want just dried food, okay? They, they want more than just a dried food, okay? They, they want the dried food to have uh, high nutrients and then it must uh, taste uh, good and smell nice, okay? And convenient, easy to bring, okay? Easy to bring around, easy to, uh, to, to consume, uh, maybe easy to cook. And then, uh, and then also enjoyable and fun so these are the the some of the the demand from the current consumer because uh, uh the modern consumer they uh they are quite here conscious okay some of them are quite here conscious uh they don't want to eat junk food okay they want to eat healthy food Okay, so uh, in the old days or in the past, conventional drying are mostly sun drying, okay, and hot air drying. Okay, sun drying is basically uh, the, the, pro the food product you put under the sun, okay, and then uh, use the sunlight to dry the product. And then hot air drying is uh, you put inside a, a hot air oven. Okay, uh, you have the small one or the big one. Uh, basically use the hot air to, to dry the product until very low moisture content. Okay, but however, these two drying techniques or these two conventional or traditional drying techniques have uh, several drawbacks. Okay, one is the drying rates. Okay, because uh, sun drying is very slow. Okay, the drying process is slow. But hot air drying is too fast. Okay, too fast uh, will have some impact to the product quality. Okay, for sun drying, uh, also because of the weather condition, sometimes uh, when it rains, it will spoil the product. Okay, uh, in hot air drying, because the drying temperature is very high and then the drying rate is very fast, Okay, so some of the nutrients in the food product might uh, degrade. Okay, like vitamin C is heat sensitive, it might degrade in the food product. Okay, so um, industry and academics uh, actually uh, work together to, to improve or to research uh, more on uh, drying technologies. And um, so in this presentation, I intend to provide uh, some recent examples of uh, advanced and innovative uh, drying technologies developed through R&D, uh, especially those uh, uh, in recent uh, decades. Okay, basically in terms of drying technologies, uh, we can group it into four generation. Okay, generation one is the, the traditional and the con conventional one. Okay, like sun drying is a very old fashioned drying technique, but it's still being used uh, nowadays. Okay, especially for the, uh, the small farmers or in the fish, uh, fish uh, farm. Okay, solar drying, cabinet drying, tunnel and lottery drying. Okay, these are, these are some 
some uh, conventional drying techniques where mostly still using uh, hot air, okay, sun drying, solar drying, or hot air drying. From uh, cabinet drying until uh, tunnel drying, okay, this is still using uh, hot air. Okay, these drying techniques are quite uh, developed already. It was developed maybe in the um, uh, some in the early twentieth uh, century. Okay, of course, sun drying in very long time ago, primitive time ago, is already uh, used by by mankind. Okay, generation two is spray drying and drum drying. Okay, spray drying. This is a uh, this is an example of spray drying. This big um, uh, vessel. Okay, uh, you get uh, let's like the, the powder milk, okay, powder milk or, or the, the beverage uh, powder like coffee powder. Okay, some of the coffee powder is actually produced uh, from, from spray drying. Okay, the milk powder also produced from spray drying. Okay, drum drying is also another type of technology. Also, also used in uh, milk uh, uh, drying of milk product. Okay, this is the generation two. Okay, generation three onwards, you start to get uh, more advanced. Okay, uh, like using freeze drying and vacuum drying. Okay, freeze drying and vac vacuum drying are uh, operating under uh, vacuum condition. Okay, except that for freeze drying, the uh, the process to remove the water is too sublimation okay sublimation means uh, the the water is actually uh, from the ice okay to uh, to gas okay to water vapor okay for for freeze drying for the normal drying process is from water to water vapor okay or to the gaseous space Okay, but for freeze drying is uh, ice to gas. Okay, osmotic dehydration is another type of uh, drying process or dehydration process where you remove the water by putting the product in high salt or high sugar solution. Okay, it's just like you make the, um, in Malaysia we call it jeruk. Okay, I'm not sure in Indonesia they are used referring it as jeruk. Okay, meaning that you put the mango, let's say mango slices, put in the high salt solution, and then keep it for, let's say for, for one day or two days, and then you take it out. So this is uh, an example of osmotic dehydration uh, process. Okay, generation four. Okay, this one is uh, more advanced. So you can see there is something like free dice bed dryer, heat pump, microwave, infrared, and refractance window drying. Of course, uh, these are some examples of generation one, two, three, and four dryers. Uh, if you look at textbook, uh, there, are, there are many, many uh, other dryers that you can find uh, in, in literatures or, or textbook. Okay, so in terms of R&D, uh, in drying, uh, for, for dryer, uh, researchers are looking at ways to improve the current design so that it's more effective and more efficient. Uh, even some researchers are looking at hybrid or combined drying. So meaning like you combine more than one drying technique in one dryer. Okay, so you can use a microwave vacuum. Okay, or infrared hot air. Okay, combine more than one drying technique. Okay, also some uh, drying strategy, including pre-treatments. Okay, sometimes if you pre-treat the product, it's uh, easier for you to dry, and also is uh, good in preserving the nutrient. Okay, like you can do branching, you can, you can pre-treat with uh, ultrasound, you can, uh, you can even uh, carry out osmotic dehydration first, and then after that only drying. Okay, of course, uh, currently or in the future, you start to see a smart dryer or dryer that is uh, equipped with uh, IR 4.0 features or the Industrial Revolution 4.0 features. Okay, where everything can be made uh, 
uh, can be made uh, automatic or robotic. And then also the product is a uh, custom drive. Okay, so meaning that depends on customer this requirement, they can actually uh, um, uh, customize the type of food product that they want to, to order. Okay, and then the dryer will actually uh, select the setting to suit the customer requirement. Okay, for dry food, researchers will be looking at how to reduce uh, nutrient degradation because we want to keep more nutrient like vitamins and uh, antioxidant, etc. Okay, preservation of bioactive ingredient, okay, like uh, antioxidants. Okay, uh, and also we want to dry the food product so that the quality is premium. Okay, we don't want only good quality, but we want premium quality so that uh, the dry product can be sold at a much higher price. Okay, so we, we need to make sure um, the, the value added is uh, much more uh, at the end of the, the drying process. Okay, of course, uh, we want the product to be as natural as possible. Okay, meaning that you don't add uh, extra, too much uh, extra ingredient. Uh, make it as natural as possible, no preservative, no additive. Okay, so that uh, the, is for the health conscious uh, consumer group. Okay, and of course, uh, we, uh, I mean, researchers are also, also looking in ways to, to produce new products. Okay, instead of just a dried fruit snack, can you make the food, food product into other type of uh, uh, new product? Okay, instead of just the dry chips or the dry fruit, can it be made to new type of beverage powder or some, some other type of ingredient that can be used uh, in cooking or maybe in, in baking, okay, something like that. Okay, so it's important to select the dryer that can produce uh, this uh, product quality. Okay, um, many years ago, I dried uh, star fruit. Okay, I believe you have this fruit uh, in Indonesia. Okay, because uh, I have ordered the fruit juice uh, before uh, when I went to Samarang uh, last time. Okay, so uh, in this uh, project, we actually dry using the normal uh, hot air and the freeze dryer. Okay, so from these two pictures, you can see that this looks uh, much better. Okay, these are uh, in this example, this looks uh, much better compared to this one. Okay, because this one is by uh, freeze drying. Okay, this is by hot air. Okay, in the hot air drying, uh, the product uh, is very brown. Okay, because of the browning process. And then if you look at the freeze drying, this is still quite, uh, the shape is still quite similar to this one. Okay, you still see the, the star shape. Okay, the pintang uh, shape. Okay, but for the for the hot air dry one, uh, doesn't look so nice. Okay, it's out of shape and then very high shrinkage. And then uh, even the test is uh, not as nice as the, the freeze dry one. So obviously this one you can sell at a premium price. Okay, the price is higher compared to this one. Okay, so maybe this one you can sell at one, one packet. Okay, maybe one packet, uh, 10 ringgit. But this one, maybe one packet is uh, maybe lesser than uh, three ringgit. Okay, so this one you can sell at premium price. Uh, in Malaysia, uh, uh, one pack of freeze dry uh, durian. Okay, one pack of freeze dry durian can be until 30 to 50 ringgit. Okay, so so this is how how we we want the price to be, okay? Because we want the dry product to get premium price, so that uh, is beneficial to the to the producer and also to the to the business. Okay, so um, I will share with you some recent or advanced uh, drying technologies developed uh, in the recent decades. Uh, of course, uh, in, in journals, uh, there are too many, too many dryers. 
okay and and if i want to share all the all the dryers it will take uh, maybe you maybe three days or or even 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 one one week okay to to explain all the dryer but i will just select some of these uh, that are uh, developed recently from uh, i think from 2010 and onward okay so, uh, so uh, some of these are uh, developed in the past uh, uh, decade so i will share with you this uh, microwave vacuum freeze dryer ultrasound assisted dryer okay and then uh, this uh, infrared assisted dryer, pulse combustion dryer, um, adsorption dryer. This is with uh, Professor Jaini, adsorption dryer. Okay, and then heat pump dryer. Okay, so let us look at the first one. So this is an example of uh, uh, hybrid drying because this is using microwave. Okay, vacuum and freeze dryer. Okay, so the the the, the conventional freeze drying process is uh, is very slow. Okay, if you know about freeze drying process, uh, sometimes you need to dry the sample for one day. Okay, in order to reduce the moisture content, it's very slow. So yeah, in this research, the, the researcher actually uh, incorporate microwave in the freeze dryer to improve the drying kinetic, okay, or to improve the drying uh, drying rate. So by putting in microwave, uh, it can actually speed up the drying process. Basically, in terms of equipment setup. Uh, you just need to combine a microwave, uh, this uh, microwave resonant cavity, okay, into the, the freeze dryer. Okay, so throughout the drying process, uh, intermittently you, um, you activate the, the microwave. Okay, it's by this uh, researcher and they are from, from China. Okay, so in terms of findings, they actually discover that uh, you can see there is a reduction in drying time of about uh, 31 hour. Okay, and then uh, there is a very fast uh, drying rate, okay, of about 36, 35. Okay, 36, 35 gram per kilogram uh, hour. Okay, and then the the SEC, okay, specific energy consumption is fifteen point seven seven. Okay, so if you look at this uh this table, okay, for freeze drying, the drying time is forty one uh, hour. Okay, but for freeze drying microwave drying, okay, the drying time is uh, cut short. Okay, by thirty one hour. So 41 hour compared to uh, 10 hour. Okay, also you can you can also see that microwave uh, drying in this case uh, show the highest drying rate. Okay, but nevertheless, the, the freeze dry microwave dryer, okay, is still showing much uh, higher drying rate compared to the conventional uh, freeze dry. Okay, so, so also in terms of specific energy consumption, freeze dryer is the highest. Okay, so by using the more advanced uh, drying technique, okay, you can actually reduce the, the specific uh, energy consumption. Okay, so this shows that uh, by, by incorporating microwave into the freeze dryer, uh, you can improve the drying rate and also at the same time improve the SEC, okay, the specific energy consumption. So the freeze drying process will become more, more uh, efficient and energy saving. Okay, so this is the product they dry. This is uh, okra or ladies uh, fingers or in Malaysia we call bende. Okay, so this is uh, from the freeze dryer. 
Okay, this from the freeze dryer, this the fresh. Okay, and then this the microwave uh, vacuum. Uh, microwave vacuum dryer and then this the uh, freeze dry microwave vacuum dryer okay so from here you can see that uh, the the color the if i compare with this okay if i compare with this air dry air dry is the worst okay you see the color maybe it's not as nice as the fresh or the freeze dry and then the swing catch is very high okay the one using freeze dry microwave uh, still look quite the same as the the original okay and then uh, is comparatively is still quite close to the freeze drying okay so in terms of product quality it can actually still preserve the the appearance the color and then also the nutritional content okay next i go to infrared freeze dryer okay like just now um, they are using microwave uh, assisted freeze drying okay so here we can also use a uh, infrared uh, assisted uh, freeze dryer okay so basically the concept is about the same okay you just need to you just need to um, uh, put the infrared uh, radiator into the drying chamber of the freeze dryer Okay, so from in this uh, in this experiment, you can see that okay by by these uh, authors, uh, researchers, you can see that uh, they are using wavelength of uh, twenty four uh, two point four to three micron, okay, heating intensity at five kilowatt per meter square, and then the coarse glass emitter is uh, position 15 centimeter above the apple surface okay these are the dry uh, apple okay this is the conventional uh, freeze drying okay this is the, the infrared freeze drying okay from here you can see that there is a reduction in drying time okay from 22 hour almost one day to 14 and 12 uh, hour so the reduction in uh, in freeze drying time is about uh, almost 46%. Okay, or maybe can be even close to 50%. Okay, if they if they um, uh, fine tune the, the parameters, okay, the drying parameters. Okay, in, in terms of energy output, you can see here, this is uh, freeze drying. Okay, and then this is uh, the infrared uh, drying, infrared uh, freeze drying. Okay, so uh, energy consumption can be reduced. Okay, and this help to to improve the efficiency uh, during uh, drying. So uh, this show that uh, microwave infrared is uh, they are they are quite uh, conducive uh, in promoting the drying rate. Okay, and also help to reduce the the energy consumption. Okay, in 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 my university, we also have this uh, infrared dryer where we use this for the uh, bird nest drying. Okay, if you if you see this uh, bird, okay, this uh, bird actually build the bird nest, and then this bird nest can be can be consumed okay after after it's dry it can be consumed uh, i i think in indonesia you also have this product okay because uh malaysia indonesia uh, we we actually export uh, bird nest to to china okay so this is how the dryer looks like and uh, so the bird nest will be put uh, here okay and then uh, here you can see the infrared okay this is the infrared so the the energy Okay, the infrared energy will be emitted to the surface of the product. Okay, and then this is the, the burn nest product that we, we produce. Okay, because uh, we want to make sure the burn nest product is sufficiently dry and then it's also free from contamination. Okay, because uh, infrared heat is uh, uh, quite hot. Okay, quite hot and then can penetrate deeper into the product. Okay, next uh, is the ultrasound assisted dryer. 
Okay, so in this case, uh, they are using a hot air dryer with, uh, with the ultrasound device. Okay, if you, um, if you know about ultrasound, ultrasound uh, is actually a very strong, you can say it's a very strong uh, vibration. Okay, it's like a vibration. Okay, and then this vibration will actually uh, uh, help to remove the moisture in the food product mechanically. Okay, there is no heat involved. Okay, maybe there is some heat due to the cavitation process. Okay, but mainly the removal of the of the moisture is too uh, mechanical. Okay, so in this uh, dryer, they are actually using this uh, ultrasound uh, transducer. Okay, number nine. Okay, number nine is the uh, ultrasound transducer. So this ultrasound transducer is uh, attached to the drying thread. Okay, number 11 is the drying thread. Okay, so during the, the, the drying process, the ultrasound is uh, generated uh, intermittently, okay, to help the drying process. Okay, so from here you can see that um, the researcher uh, reported that uh, uh, three different levels of ultrasound, okay, uh, uh, using air temperature of 40 until 70 degrees C. Okay, the increase in both the applied uh, acoustic power and temperature give rise to significant reduction in drying time. So about 13 to 44 percent reduction in drying time. So meaning that uh, by use by by using ultrasound in hot air drying, it can help. Uh, improve the drying rate, okay, and, and hence the moisture can be removed uh, easier. Okay, and then a significant, um, fine, um, significant difference was observed, especially on the effective diffusivity. Okay, meaning that uh, the effective diffusivity is higher and uh, the drying process is faster, and then the mass transfer rate of uh, moisture is uh, uh, is happening at a much uh, faster rate. Okay, so this shows that the ultrasound is also able to, to help improve the drying process. Okay, next is called the pulse combustion drying. Okay, this, uh, this dryer is a bit uh, different from the normal hot air dryer because this is actually using pulse combustion. Okay, so meaning that there is a combustion process that generate the heat and then transfer to the drying uh, vessel. So in this case, this is a, a spray dryer. Okay, this is how the pulse combustion uh, works. So you have the, the, the this, uh, this uh, chamber, this pulse combustion uh, chamber where you have fuel Okay, and air. Once you put the fuel and the air inside, the igniter will ignite the mixture. So there is a big uh, explosion. Okay, there is a big explosion. Okay, these are these um, explosion. Okay, because of the fuel and the air. Okay, will produce the heat. Okay, and then this heat uh, uh, will be supplied. Okay, this heat will be supplied into the drying chamber. Okay, in this case, this is a spray dryer. So you can see the spray here from the atomizer. So the, 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 the atomized uh, droplet, the liquid droplet will be, will be dried by the, the, the heat from this, uh, from this uh, combustor. Okay, this uh, pulse combust combustor. Okay, so pulse combustion is a periodic ignition and extinguishing of the combustible mixture of fuel and air. Okay, the benefit of this is uh, the heat is very high. So the heat is very high, it can dry a uh, droplet very fast. Okay, because in, in, in spray drying, you need to dry the droplet very fast. You cannot dry uh, too slow. Okay, so, so you need uh, something that can generate a high heat at a short time. So in this case, they are using the pulse uh, combustion drying. Okay, this is uh, egg white powder. 
Okay, so they spray uh, egg white powder uh, in the in the in the pulse combustion dryer. So you can see that the one using the one using uh, uh, the pulse combustion dryer is uh, uh, looks uh, nicer. Okay, egg white powder supposed to look uh, white. Okay, <laughs> of course, but the one using the the spray dryer is a bit yellowish. Okay, it's a bit yellowish, meaning that there is some color change during the spray drying process because the 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 the, the heat is not as high as in a pulse combustion drying. Okay, so 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 there is a, a color change uh, during the drying process, but unlike in pulse combustion, okay, it can actually uh, show better uh, color. Okay, also because uh, there is lesser oxygen. Okay, there's lesser oxygen in the pulse combustion dryer because oxygen is used up to, uh, to become the, 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 the exhaust heat. Okay, the exhaust heat has uh, no oxygen. So it actually uh, helps to reduce the, the oxygen environment in the drying chamber. Okay, next is uh, we come to this one, absorption drying. This is by Prof. Jaini. So it's a, a collaboration work between uh, Prof. Jaini and, and myself. Okay, we, we did this, like, uh, I think, in 2016, uh, 15 or 16, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so uh, in this uh, dryer, the drying is through the release of absorption heat. Okay, absorption heat is like, um, uh, absorbent. Absorbent is like the the um, the desi desiccant. Okay, in in the lab you have this green color uh, particles where normally you, you will put with the 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 beaker or with your sample so that to keep the the product uh, dry. Okay, the blue color thing. Okay, so that one is is a type of absorbent or in the lab, you maybe call it a uh, desiccant. Okay, this absorbent, if uh, in contact with water, it will actually generate heat. Okay, and then this heat can also be used to become, to, to produce the dehumidifier air. Okay, so that is why you have the dehumidifier air here. After uh, this, the inlet of the, of the surrounding air, Okay, to the desiccant. Okay, A and B is the desiccant or the absorbent. Okay, absorbent uh, uh, packing. Okay, after that you have the heated uh, dehumidifier air or dry air. Okay, and then this is uh, supplied to the drying chamber. Okay, to, to carry out the drying process. So from this uh, study, actually, uh, we found that uh, by using uh, geolite, okay, geolite is the absorbent, okay, the drying rate is actually better than without geolite, okay, so with geolite, uh, the drying rate is, is much better, and then uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, compared to the one uh, without uh, geolite, okay, so if you look at this, uh, these two graphs. Okay, next, uh, we also apply this in, uh, in uh, onion drying. Okay, so in 2017, uh, uh, one of uh, Prof. Chinese students actually used this in onion drying. Okay, so we have successfully dried the onion and also observed uh, uh, better dry kinetics uh, throughout the drying process. Okay, this, this is also another research uh, we did on uh, egg white. Okay, uh, egg white for carrageenan. Okay, is the seaweed. Okay, uh, next uh, I want to introduce you to this uh, dryer. This also another dryer we developed in Nottingham. Okay, it's called the heat pump dryer, and we have uh, used this to to dry uh, cocoa, jiku, salak, and ganoderma. Okay, I believe you know about salak. Okay, in Indonesia, um, you have a very good uh, and delicious uh, salak fruit. Okay, Ganoderma is the mushroom. Okay, it's uh, um, 
they call uh, Ling Ji. Okay, I'm not sure you have heard about this or not. Okay, anyway, uh, the drying process is also very unique because this is using heat pump. Okay, what is heat pump? Heat pump is like the air condition uh, unit at your house or in your office or in the school. Okay, the air condition unit, you have the condenser and also the evaporator. Okay, the, the evaporator will generate the, the dry air. Okay, the dry air for your drying process. Okay, so if you see here, the, the evaporator will actually generate this dry air. Okay, and then supply to the drying chamber. Okay, and then uh, the condenser will actually uh, uh, works to exchange the heat uh, to this uh, heat exchanger system so that you can recover the, the latent heat from the, from, the, from the outlet air. Okay, the outlet air, this is the, after drying, you have the outlet air. Okay, this outlet air actually is recycled back to here. Okay, so that this evaporator and condenser unit will actually um, uh, make, uh, you can say, recycle back the, the latent heat, okay, to be used for the next uh, drying process. Okay, so you can see this dryer, this the compressor. Uh, there is the, the evaporator here. Okay, and then this part is the, the drying chamber. Okay, so this is this is the 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 heat pump dryer. So uh, what what result we have discovered was uh, this uh, this dryer able to improve the flavor. In fact, we can improve the flavor of cocoa beans. Uh, quite similar to the to the good quality one from Ghana. Okay, better retention on bioactive ingredient, and then also better texture, color of the fruit product. Okay, like jiku and salak fruit, after we dry, we actually can get, uh, we, uh, the texture is, is uh, much better than the hot air dry uh, product. Okay, as well as the color. Okay, so we have so many dryers. Uh, of course, uh, it comes with uh, advantages and limitations. Okay, so advantages is, uh, it can help to reduce our uh, energy, enhance quality. So energy consumption, uh, we, we get some saving from the energy consumption. And microwave can penetrate into greater depth. Okay, cavitation from the ultrasound could facilitate removal of strongly attached uh, moisture. So it can help to remove the moisture better. Okay, infrared radiation can be focused. Okay, so you can actually uh, zoom in the infrared radiation so that you don't waste the energy and lesser oxygen concentration in pulse combustion dryer. Okay, and uh, absorption dryer can actually give you the dehumidified air, which is uh, 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 drier, dry, uh, less uh, lower in RH, okay, compared to the normal dry air. Okay, but there is a limitation. Okay, uh, non-uniformity of microwave fuel, and this can create some hot spot. Okay, ultrasound energy transfer in gas, okay, is more difficult than liquid. Okay, infrared is not suitable for too large uh, dryer, okay, because of the limitation in volumetric uh, heating, okay, unlike a uh, microwave. Okay, noise and vibration in pulse combustion dryer. Okay, the pulse combustion dryer is very noisy, okay, because of the combustion process. And then um, vibration is quite strong. So it might give some mechanical stress to the dryer. Okay, of course, uh, all these things is not cheap. Okay, when you use the modern technology, uh, it's still quite uh, expensive. Uh, expensive. Uh, even in current, uh, I mean, current economics. Okay, so concluding remarks, selection of drying system is important to ensure we produce a high quality and premium product. Okay, modern uh, dryers should be efficient, not only in terms of drying time, but also energy aspect. 
and uh, industry and academia, uh, we should continue to drive uh, R&D and also innovation. And uh, the ultimate aim is to meet the demand for better efficiency and the needs of consumer. Okay, because uh, we have more and more new consumers, especially the younger generation, um, uh, they have good knowledge uh, about food. So their demand from the food product uh, will be high. Okay, so we have to, to, to know how to meet this uh, demand unless in the, un, unlike in the old days, we only produce uh, normal dry food and everyone has no problem about it. But nowadays, uh, uh, consumers are getting uh, well educated and more health conscious. Okay, so this concludes my presentation. Thank you very much. And uh, I am open for question and answer. Okay, and then I will pass back the session to, uh, uh, to, the, to, to Dr. Al Bari. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Hitching Lik, for the nice presentation. It is uh, so I cannot imagine if I what is that? Uh, so I can imagine the equipment in your lab. So there is something like uh, what is that? The innovative equipment of trying equipment, I think, in your lab. So Oh, so okay. I just curious about this one. Uh, so is this in your lab? So are you built by yourself? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, only the the heat pump dryer and the infrared dryer are in my lab. Uh, of course, we don't have the workshop to build uh, our serve. Okay, but we 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 high, we engage the 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 company, I mean the third party to, to actually build uh, for us. But of course we supply the technical uh, specification, the design and the, the, the capacity to them. Okay, so, 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 so the, 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 the third party company will actually build this for us. Oh yeah, so you collaborative with the company to build this. Yeah, one, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you have equipment, but I have salak. <laughs> so <laughs> it is good match, right? Yeah, yeah. We actually have uh, we have a, a lecturer that used to do salak drying. In fact, you met her before during the conference. <laughs> oh. Uh, so from the Lampung or from from who's from who's the salax collected from? Uh, no, I mean I mean the the researcher that did uh, salak drying from my university. Actually, uh, she she went to she came to Samarang before. Oh, I for see. The conference. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can remember. But, oh. but the, the the salak fruit we got from uh, Malaysia. Uh, oh, Malaysian salak. To, yeah, Malaysia salak, which is uh, smaller. I think the Indonesia salak is the bigger one. Oh yeah, because Undip located is not so far from the salak region. So you ah, can okay. find a salak in the um, several varieties oh, okay, with the several okay. taste also. Yes. Yeah, so mm. next time, let me bring salak to <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank without you. Without seed, <laughs> without seed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without seed is nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice yeah. So uh, we should go for quarantine if uh, there is a seed inside of the pack, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Difficult. Yeah. So let me open okay. the question from the student who knows. One of okay, okay. two question will be provided to you. So student, mm -hmm. if you want to uh, ask a question, silahkan. Uh, so uh, let me. What is that? There is a chatting uh, from Ardian okay. Pratama. So yeah, so Ardian Sah Pratama asking about the pulse combusting drying. Uh, pulse, oh, pulse combustion, combustion drying. drying. Okay. Yeah, it is using the combustion to rid of the liquid. 
yeah says he wonder that uh what is it uh if it is good for texture of the product so what do you think about this one doctor uh okay i think i can see the question on the chat box. oh yeah, yeah actually yeah, post combustion right. post combustion uh drying uh the heat is very uh, is the the temperature is very high so if you use this for solid uh, food product might not be suitable because the the temperature is very high so uh, normally for solid food uh, product you want to dry at a, a, a low not saying lower but not so high temperature okay so that you want to keep the the color and the texture but uh, post combustion drying uh, is more suitable for like spray okay because uh, in spray drying process you need high temperatures uh, it can be more than 120 140 but in normal uh, hot air drying of uh, food uh, solid food you you don't go to 120 140 but in spray drying yes you go to 120 140 uh, because you want to dry the liquid uh, droplet okay it's like a tiny rain okay like hujan tiny rain you want to dry it very fast so that is why uh, pulse combustion drying is more suitable for the the powder product uh -huh. so i hope that answer the question okay yeah, i think i can see uh, mm, the, so i can see uh, a second chat. question yeah uh, the chat from Darisman. so what do you think about this one it is about okay. the natural energy Hybrid drying is one of the drying technology use uh, natural te energy to process or be the heat source. That's uh, forgetted because of its inefficiency. However, the developer must be encouraged. How do you respond for, for this case? Yeah, actually, hybrid drying should be, um, in my opinion, should be encouraged because the, the I mean, the conventional drying technique. Okay, even like generation three drying technique, like freeze drying is a very long process. It's not efficient. Uh, and then uh, not many um, uh, company or not many producer can, can, uh, can uh, is, I mean, not many of them afford to use this technology because the, the, not only because of the price, but also because it's too long, the, the drying process. So if they, they use this with, uh, let's say, microwave, microwave freeze drying, okay, so they cut down the, the, the drying time. So it's more attractive for the company or the producer or the industry to use. So, so that they can achieve the, the, the economics, okay, or, or they can achieve the, the efficiency that they want. So actually hybrid drying is currently quite popular uh, many universities are actually uh, doing uh, studies or, on this, okay, especially uh, in microwave, okay, it can be microwave freeze drying or microwave uh, spray drying, okay, it can be also, sometimes you can also have a spray freeze drying, okay, freeze drying, but inside a spray dryer, okay, because uh, it's, uh, uh, it's to, to, to improve the, the drying rate because you freeze dry a uh, droplet is faster compared to you freeze dry uh, a bigger uh, food product or a, a, high, a bigger volume of uh, solution. Okay, I, I hope that answer the question. Okay, so it is very nice because right now, recently we also should think uh so much about how to make energy efficient so it is good i think for us to challenge in the near future research okay so the next uh, so can you still uh see the chat uh, dr hitching link it is about the appropriate drying method appropriate drying method. So what do you think about this one, yeah. Dr. Hitching Lake?
Hello, so could you hear me? Oh, uh, so Dr. Hitching Lake right now is out. <laughs> Sorry for this one. So we Is the discussion section? Yeah, discussion section. Mm. So let let's yeah. uh, let wait um, for Doctor Hitching like to um, enter yeah. this room again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So welcome back. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. back to the. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. Back to yeah. the question: uh, How to select the best uh, drive? Yes. So uh, to determine the appropriate drying method for the product, and then to produce the premium quality. What do you think about this one, Doctor Hitching? Like. Side. Hello, doctor. So I cannot hear you. So let me mute all, okay. then unmute again. So can you hear me? Oh, Dr. Hitchung Lik is out again. Okay, thank you Rito. Terima kasih Rito sudah bertanya. Ini satu lagi tentang Pak Darisman. Eh, Mas Darisman juga sudah. Mas Ardiansah. Okay. So if you still have uh, time, so you can. Uh, ask not only in this session so we will find uh, we will find the uh, uh, he again in the maybe next week hello uh, sorry I, I, hello. I think the inter yeah. my internet line is not very good sorry no sorry. problem yeah okay so yeah. i mean i let me continue with the answer so it yes. depends okay. on the product i mean uh, if you want to go to very high quality then you might want to consider uh, hybrid drying using freeze dryer okay but if your product uh, uh, there is uh, no problem with, uh, there is no no strict uh, quality requirement, then you can go for the normal hot air. But of course, at the end of the day, you need to, to know uh, what is your target consumer. Okay, some product, uh, if it's meant for, I mean, I mean, if the, the requirement, quality requirement is not high, then uh, uh, there is no need for you to go for the, the freeze drying or microwave uh, freeze drying. But of course, it all depends you are dealing with liquid product or solid product. Then liquid product, you can go for spray drying. But spray drying also depends. Uh, you want it to just uh, spray dry or spray freeze dry. Or sometimes if you don't want to use spray drying, you can also use uh, drum drying. Okay, so, so the... the uh, the how to decide which one is the best and which one suitable uh, actually it, it depends on, on many factors okay so I think this is a good response uh, upon the question from Artiansa. okay so doctor thank you so much for today uh, because oh, recently yeah, at uh, the time uh, right now it's two o'clock so uh 
hopefully uh, this not disturb you while uh, delay five minutes uh, from oh, two okay, o'clock no eh, in Indonesia still two o'clock <laughs> okay in Malaysia three o'clock okay so thank you yeah, so much three o'clock here yeah uh, Dr. He Ching Lik, thank okay, you so thank much you. and see you again in the next uh, next okay. time and next opportunity we are very happy to have class with you Okay, okay, so uh, he's yeah. my owner. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's close our session and see you again in the next okay, sure. time. Okay, okay, see you again. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you so bye. much. Okay. Thank you. And all of the participants, thank you so much for attending today. And hopefully, we can see all you in the next future. Thank you so much. Bye bye my uh, presentation in front of you.